Hello there, YouTube viewers. I went and did it again. Uh, I bought another K10. So this, this is number three. And weirdly enough, they're all 1977 models. So this one's um, a long bed, as you can tell. And the other two trucks I have are short beds. And the plan I have for this one is undecided. I originally was just looking for an engine, transmission, transfer case, all the running hardware. Um, to transfer to this truck, um, but this one's in such great shape despite the paint um, That I don't know I may end up just painting this one and keeping it a long bed. We'll have to see uh, Things I'm going to work on just right off the bat is getting this bumper replaced and then um, the mirrors The tires and the hood you see it's got that classic um, Chevy Chevy hood damage. So to prevent that for anybody listening, if you keep your hinges well oiled, well oiled, um, probably every time you change your oil, you should lube those hinges and that won't happen. And to use my favorite term, it's kind of unmolested. Uh, everything's here. So the vacuum canister, the windshield washer tubes, that works, it even has fluid in it. All the air conditioner parts are there. It's got a new battery, it's got a new alternator. It's got the original lug wrench and the jacks behind the seat. Um, the only, I guess the only downside is it's been, the paint's been stripped. Actually, that's a good sign. So now I just gotta get into that metal, get it down to metal, get some primer on it, get a quick coat of paint on it. Um, on the inside, it's in great shape. As far as great shape goes, it's got the owner's manual. Came with some extra goodies, a couple owners or repair manuals uh, overall. I love it. The weather seals around the door need to be replaced. Um, some interior stuff um, needs to be fixed, but for the most part, the truck is actually 100% intact. Uh, even has the the jack, the lug wrench, um, owner's manual, service records, everything, and there's no rust, zero rust. You got surface rust, but that that'll sand right off. But there is no rust at all on this truck so um like i said originally would i just bought it i got it for a really good price i was just gonna take the drivetrain out of it the steering column put it in that other truck but um i don't know we'll see uh right now i'm gonna keep it as a long bed and i'm gonna paint it and use it as my shop truck and then we'll see we'll see where things go once I get the blazer done, then I'll decide if this is going to all get transferred over to short bed frame. And if that happens, I definitely will keep the cab, um, the front fenders, doors, and everything else, um, and just transfer the axles, uh, the whole running, all the running hardware. So, but yeah, here we go, another K10. Getting ready to, well, take two. Jumped in, I removed the hood. So you can see the hood's over there. Uh, removed the inner, inner fender well. Removed the fender. I, oh, there it is, it's over here. Removed the fender. Beautiful thing about this truck, there's no rust. Check that out, 1977, no rust. Uh, surface rust, okay, technicality, but no holes. No rust, there is no, no sizable rust. Got that off. Uh, I'm going to, I already cut uh, these pins out, put new bushings in so I can get the door lined up. And I'm gonna cut that pin out here in a minute and then just put new, new brass bushings in. You can see I got the one in down there, but I'm gonna pull these apart. I'm gonna paint, I'm gonna paint the inside cause it's going to a darker blue. This is a uh, lighter blue. So I'm gonna go to a darker blue and I'm gonna prime, prime everything first because um, it's bare metal up here. I'm gonna cut this gasket uh, back. Oh, that's got metal. All right. Yeah, I needed to order a new one and I couldn't remember. I didn't know it had a metal insert. That makes it unfun to put these in. It's not gonna have metal when it goes back in because those are not fun to do. But I'm gonna sand all this out, get it primered like I have it primered on the outside, get it cleaned up. And I'm gonna paint the inside here. I'm gonna paint the inside 
of the door. I'm going to take everything out, paint the inside of the door, same color, dark blue. Uh, the inside is going to have to stay light blue for a little while until we get around to that. And then I'm going to paint the inside of the fender, most likely just the top. Um, I don't know. I, I only have a gallon, so paint is getting expensive, and I don't want to buy another gallon. We'll see as we go. Uh, I may change my mind, but I'm going to leave these hinges bolted on there. Uh, nothing severely changed with this truck. I'm putting the same door back on. It was lined up at once. I think I'll just have to, with the new hinges, I'm pretty sure it'll, it'll line up just fine. Again, I'm going to pull it apart, pull the hinges apart, clean it all up, and then uh, and get ready for primer. So rather than bore you through all that, I'll probably come back before I shoot primer. Here's a tip. I have a box, a uh, plastic box I got at Home Depot. It was like 11 bucks on sale. Um, actually, it was like 10 something with my military discount. But anywho, I'm keeping uh, the passenger side hardware, brackets, bolts, trim, everything uh, on this side in that bucket. And then I'm getting ready to take the door apart. And I'm going to be doing the same, except there's a lot of parts uh, that go with the door. They'll go inside this bin, they'll go inside the black bin, keep everything nice and straight. Okay, got the door stripped down, uh, got everything out of it. Went pretty smooth, and now I'm going to degrease everything. I'm gonna, on the inside of the door, because the goal here is to get the inside of the door, there'll be some body work here, um, but all that painted. Now while I'm at it, I'm gonna degrease the fender well, the inside of the fender, and then the inside of the cab. And then once that's degreased and cleaned, I'm gonna sandblast any of the rust. Uh, this is surface rust, but there's some rust spots. Uh, I'll sandblast those because there's some on the bottom of this door I like to take care of. And uh, then we'll put some primer on it, sand it down and paint it. Everything's cleaned up, degreased for the most part. Uh, next step will be scotch brake pad, some sandpaper to get the uh, rough spots. But everything came out pretty clean. Just gonna paint that uh, Rust-Oleum semi-glass. I'll buy a new sticker, make it all look pretty. Uh, I'm not gonna flip that fender around, trust me, it looks nice. Inside, uh, there's some rust spots. Uh, I'll take care of those when I do the cab. But on the outside, it came out all right. And next thing I'm gonna do is take off the uh, this side of the truck, like the other side, and get it ready for paint. Because uh, ideally, I just wanna paint the cab and the inside just one time, and then be done with it. So I can get the truck back together so I can still use it. We go today was a uh, whoa what's going on there today was uh take two here we go today was a productive day i've got the doors uh insides of the doors sanding them down with 320 and got this epoxy primer on there and they're looking good the uh, wax and grease remover worked well no fish eyes always happy to see that and then on the truck same thing Got the jams done and same thing on the other side. And the plan now is to, there are some areas where the original sealer separated. I'm gonna fix those areas. There's one there, one there, a couple on the bottom of the doors, same kind of thing. So I'll fix that, uh, do some spot touch-ups. And then once that's done, I'll be spraying the, uh, ooh, I gotta run, look at that. Whoops, I will be spraying the uh, metallic dark blue uh, on these jams and then getting the doors aligned and put the doors back in. And then uh, after that, I work on the fenders and hood on the undersides. And then I'm gonna pull the cab off the back or the, I'm gonna pull the bed off the back, get the uh, back of the cab, roof of the cab, and then the back of the bed. I'll get that all painted, sealed off and then uh, Get this thing painted and done. Here we go. I'm going to uh, put on the color. I've got high belt primer on top of the primer sealer. Both sides. This will be my first time shooting single stage in a long time. So we'll see how it turns out. Here we go. Got the inside of the fenders painted, just kind of like everywhere you would see. Um, got that painted. Same thing out here. I just put one coat, one really wet coat, 
on the inside. I was burning through this paint. Um, I've got two coats on the door. The door's turned out nice. Got one coat on the underside of the hood. You can tell it used to be a yellow hood. Now it's a blue hood. And then I put three coats uh, on the jams. So, and it all turned out pretty good. So the thought here is put the doors on, get them lined up, seal between the door and the jam all the way around, and then bodywork the car. So we'll see if that works out. But I like it. Turned out pretty good. I'm uh, pretty happy. Turned out, uh, turned out all right. So here we go, on to the next step. Here we are. You got the uh, jams and undersides of the doors and the fenders and the hood done. So now I've uh, put a guide coat on top of that direct to metal epoxy primer and found some low spots with the light and I'm filling that in now. You see the truck is put back together. You see that guide coat I put on. I'm getting ready to start block sanding. And then uh, after the block sanding, I'll probably put a coat of sealer primer on there. Block sand it one more time, make sure it's nice and flat, and then uh, we'll be painting. Here we go, getting the high bell primer on there. There was a lot of body work. A little bit in the hood, had a little dent. <laughs> Big dent. Whatever. Work truck. Camera. All right, here we are. Driver's side. Throwing down the chalk guide coat. We got on the the bed. Got on this wrinkly ass door. And I got on that somewhat straight fender. This door, man, it's a mess. You can't see it here, but trust me, it's a mess. But yeah, so we're gonna start block sanding with uh, probably 80 grit. And then, uh, like the other side, I'll get through everything, get it all block sanded, put on high bill primer, and then block sand it, probably like a 320, and then get that shit smooth, and then put on some top coat. Okay, here's why you do the guide coat. So, yeah, looks good, looks good, looks good. Oh, what's that? Oh, a couple of dents, didn't see those. Let me move up. Oh, shit. Couple more dents, didn't see those, so it's, I do a, like a, I guess a 45 degree hot cross hatch when I do my sanding, and it will show you every dent in the panel. So you get that fixed, your shit's straight, man. Here we go, another shot of the Bondo bucket. Just working, getting all these dents out. It's, uh, yeah, maybe it's thick, maybe it's not. Hell, I don't know. It's kind of a work truck, and certainly not something I would do on, you know, high-end truck, but I saw one of these go for sale at Bear Jackson. Uh, long bed, this is a 77. I saw a 78 completely restored. Nut and bolt, completely restored. Sold for like 30,000 bucks. So I am not putting that much effort into making sure there's minimal body filler in this truck but i can guarantee it's not going to crack it's not that thick uh, but i could have done more work on the metal just not worth the time this truck i'm sorry truck uh big blue rusty sorry but uh you're just it's just not worth it okay pull the bed off uh it'd be easier to get to the whatever this black shit is um undercoating bed liner I don't know. They sprayed it on everything, but got the bed back there. It's on the lift. Um, came off pretty easy. It's just uh, eight nuts, six screws, and a vent line, and it comes right off. So there we go. And uh, let's say hey, all the chickens. Hey, girls. How are you all doing? Spice some eggs. All right, here we go. You hate sanding? Welcome to my Bondo bucket. Dent fixed. Dent fixed, dent, dent, dent fixed. Small dent fixed, couple dents fixed, dent fixed. This door was a complete Clock mess. On. Almost fixed. Roof's got dents, just put that primer on there yesterday. 
tailgate, dent, dent, fender, dent, completely crushed in there. All right, here we go. Got it in high build primer, sort of pseudo reassembled um, just to make space. But in between there, the bed, cap bed is uh, all primered out. And this is like three coats of the high belt primer, polyester primer. So I will be sanding on that over the next week, maybe two. And then um, we'll be trying out my inflatable paint booth and putting some, uh, putting this blue color on it. <clears throat> this blue right here, that painted the inside of the door. So hopefully it turns out great. And we'll see. Um, it's been... <laughs> It's been long progress, and I'm gonna do um, it's like a bed liner in there. I don't know, a shitty one, but I'll be sanding all that rust out and either removing it and then putting in a black bed liner. So hopefully this truck looks pretty sweet when I'm done. We'll see. Okay, it's painted. Um, I used a single stage and not too happy with it. I mean, it's good single stage paint, it's kind of shiny, but just not that base coat, clear coat that you would typically get. But for what I was wanting to do, this paint was only $100 a gallon and it came out okay for the most part. It's, I don't know, I didn't get it wet enough, I think on this hood, because I was worried about runs. So, like with base coat, clear coat, you don't have to worry about that because, uh, you know, if you get too much clear on there, you just sand it off if it runs. That's my brother. He knows. But, yeah, so it's painted now. And I'm going to place an order for new interior, um, some new bumpers, and we'll go from there. Well, here we go. The fun never ends. Got the white stripe on there. On the cab. And then... See, got the fender door, fender door, and then I did a little bit on the tailgate as well. It's over there. But this, uh, the white sprayed out all right. I used one quart, uh, mixed four to one, and then 10% reducer. And it turned out all right. I, at least I think. It's going to get wet sanded and cleared anyway, so I don't know. Out of the booth, got the tape off. It's the next morning. The uh, white sprayed down really nice. I don't know if you can see the. I don't know, trust me. I mean, it's single stage, so it doesn't have that deep look. Uh, I'm going to sand it all down and I'm going to start clearing it hopefully this weekend. But I think it's going to look pretty good. Blue and the white, and then I'm going to pinstripe it. Right now, today's uh, task is to gut the interior and spray the interior that same color blue and then hopefully tomorrow clear the cab outside so we'll see coming together here we go the interior is painted got the shiny shiny headliner all metal this is the uh, Scottsdale version so there's no I'm starting to think this is the no frills version of a truck because I've got um, a couple other trucks and they've got a, it's got plastic down the pillars. It's got a cloth headliner carpet on the doors, but this is a, this is a working man's truck. And then putting this rubber carpet thing, I don't know, rubber flooring uh, in it. So I'm gonna pull the, uh, the stick shifters out and then uh, today I'll be working on getting that floor fitted so I can start putting this thing back together. But it came out pretty good. Pretty happy. It's 
here he is all finished up uh, almost all finished up I still gotta put a yellow pinstripe between the white and the blue I want to wet sand it down buff it out get the uh, there's just a tiny bit of orange peel but I'm gonna get that flat but it came out all right uh, one of the things I don't know if I like is the way I took the angle on that white on the back I don't know kind of looks goofy I think I should have brought it up a couple more inches right in there but it turned out good um, got new bumpers new marker lights uh, painted the hitch and then it's a little dirty but it's a uh, it's a little wrinkly here and there I probably could have done better with the quick ass body work that I did but um, new badges these things are expensive they're like 70 bucks a piece uh, new mirrors new door handles door locks uh, all new gaskets new windshield new I rebuilt the, the vent windows new back glass and so locked. there we go and for the interior came out pretty good it's a little dirty um, new vinyl I just uh, repainted everything here gauges uh, new dash that was expensive that's like 400 bucks uh, new door panels uh, new armrests that don't quite color match and over here we got um, new plastic gauges new bezel um, I painted the steering column and the steering wheel and I put a retro stereo in it and then got this speaker up here working so and then just painted painted the pedals and new brake release but everything in here so this whole truck um from what i paid for it oh square body right um from what i paid for it and put not call not including my labor i got about ten thousand dollars into it between um i did the brakes there's a video on that. I did the air conditioner. There's a video on that. Then the paint, uh, bodywork, all the new pieces. So, yeah, not too bad. Um, the whole bodywork probably took three months, four months, working on it here and there. But overall, um, still haven't done the bed. So I just don't feel like sanding that yet. But eventually I will, and then I'll bed liner that. But, yeah, trucked out, uh, turned out pretty good. We used to call it rusty. Still call it rusty. But, uh not rusty anymore. Uh, thanks for watching. Do appreciate you and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Say goodbye Chevy. Yeah.